Hey everybody, Charles Elwood. Um, this is my first in a series of videos that I'm going to record for you. Um, and the idea is I'm going to give you four things I've learned and try to do it in four minutes. Um, and these are, you know, I've, I've started a new business now, um, past three months. It's been a whirlwind of a ride. Um, it's been surreal. Um, and, uh, I just want to share with you, I, I'm learning so much every day, every week that uh, I want to share with you all the interesting th stuff I've learned about starting a business, about business intelligence, um, and just random facts in the world that are interesting to me. Um, so just to start out, you see that image in the back there? Um, I'm half Thai. That image right there, um, I watched an elephant paint that in Thailand. Quick story, um, elephants in Thailand um, were used for logging for a long time. They outlawed logging. They didn't know where the elephants would go. Um, some of them go to the sanctuary where they're learning to be artists. And uh, there's actually elephant bands and everything. So um, I got visited one of those, got my hands on one of those. It's really cool. Um, all right. So a few things I've learned over the past week. Um, oh, I want to give credit to Avi Singh, who introduced me to the power of video and social media. Um, and I want to you know, just give a shout out to uh, Liz Hoffswell at the SBDC. Um, she, um, you know, really pushed me to do these video series and, and get these out there. So I want to give a shout out to her. Um, Andrew Blanchard, one of my um, co-students with uh, at a program called Surge Boost, um, clued me into Hotjar. It's free. There's a version that's free. Um, you put some code in your website and then it, it uh, maps out where your visitors to your website are clicking. Um, also, you can see how they're moving their mouse um, across your screen. Just incredible data um, for your business. Um, I've already made some changes to my website based on this. Um, and then scroll behavior, you know, um, you know this, this top area, everybody starts here. Um, they look at the solution and then they start slowing down. They really don't scroll much past um, testimonials. So huge, huge tool. It's free. Um, you know, you can see how many people visited. You can see where they're visiting, how they're moving their mouse on your website. Great tool. Um, I'm glad he introduced me to this. Um, the other tool um, that I've been using that's been really helpful is Trello. Um, a lot of you have probably heard it about it. Um, it keeps tracks of tasks, you can bid them, um, and then you can drag and drop. So this is, I actually use for my CRM. Um, I use my, to track my customers, their location, who they are, um, the status, you know, do I need to send them an introduction video, um, sign an NDA, um, get some data, um, you know, where, where am I sitting with everyone and what do I need to do? And um, the other cool thing is I'm a big believer in Power BI. Um, I think it's going to change the world. Um, and some of you have seen my video on Avi Singh show. I'm super passionate about this stuff. But Trello connects with um, Power BI. Right now, I'm doing it manually. I export the Trello data into um, a JSON file, and then the JSON I bring into Power BI, and then I'm tracking, you know, doing counts of how many are in each bucket, or um, I've labeled them with categories with color coding, yellow, you know, green, um, and then I can bring those and do a count um, in a graph visual, um, see how many are closed, how many are open, how many are pan, how many are in my network, um, how many are in sales network, et cetera. Uh, just gives me a quick view, my whole business um, in, in some dashboards. Um, but I also learned just this past week of a tool called HubSpot. They've got a free version. Um, I'm starting to look into that now. Keeps track of all your emails to your customer, when they review them, when they send them back. Um, it's similar to Trello where you can drag and drop, you know, the cards into each bin or bucket. And then it keeps track of probability of um, and then amount of dollar value that each customer potentially could be. So you get an estimate of this month. I have a probability of 80 percent of making this amount, you know, and. So I'm, I'm still looking at that. Um, there's some the email integration. I'm, I'm still trying to figure th that out, but I think I'm going to slowly transition to this tool because there's some great features. Um, they're free. I want to use this tool. Um, and the last thing um, 
I want to bring up is, you know, some, some of my team members, and I'm going to shout out to, uh, well, so real quick, HubSpot, Grace Teal, um, she was the one that clued me into that. Shout out to her. I'll put all the links of the people that have introduced me to all these tools down below and links. Um, and then make sure to subscribe too, because I'm going to do this every week now um, and get, you know, pump information out there just on the stuff that I'm using that I find cool that I've tested and I could, you know, think would be useful to any other startup or any other Power BI user. Um, so Phantom Buster, Andrew Blanchard again, he's a um, great friend. Um, he was in a class with me and he, you know, introduced me to this tool, which um, is a scraper for the web. Um, you know, just you do a search on Google, dump it in an Excel file, and then this thing goes through to each link goes out there, finds email addresses, titles, positions, um, LinkedIn profiles, et cetera, and, and gets them for you. Um, phenomenal tool, I think, um, but I'm, I'm still testing it out, um, trying it out, but um, I know he and um, other students in my, my program are using this, so great tool there too. So once again, um, you know, just one more shout out. So here's my website, um, you could visit, um, you know, there's a contact form on here, or if you need Power BI help, you know, press the Get Help Now button. I've got a really cool inter, um, interactive tool, Visual Power BI dashboard about um, Grand Rapids, you know, business trends. Lists all the businesses in Grand Rapids, um, and then you can click on, you know, if they're manufacturing or not, um, and see the trends of where all the manufacturing companies or whatever really feature you want. Um, I can probably pull it out and add it for you. Um, so check out this website. Um, let me know if there's any changes um, that you want to see and or if you find this data useful. Um, and, you know, make sure to subscribe. Hit the subscribe button. Um, and then I'll keep pumping these out every every week. I'm learning so many things. I, I've already got five videos queued up. And, uh, you know, I'm just going to release them every Wednesday, I think. So thanks again. I'll talk to you later. And bye for now.